We're working with a very exciting uh, plant right now called Jotropha. These are the seeds from Jotropha. They're a fantastic source of biodiesel because seeds yield up to 60% oil. This is a sample of the Jotropha oil. Plant. One of our plants that we're working with, this plant is a non-food source, so it's a great source of biofuel. We're not competing with a food source like corn. This can get up to 15 feet tall, and it produces seeds within the first year after germination. The Tropa plant is native to Central and South America, and it grows in warm tropical areas in the world, like India, South Africa, warm parts of Asia. But we want to be able to grow this plant right here in Pennsylvania, so the local economy can benefit local. Biofuel companies can use this plant as a source of biodiesel and save a lot of money so they don't have to be depending on commodities like soybeans for biodiesel. Now, we use a method called plant tissue culture. It's a way to get thousands of plants from a teeny tiny piece plant. In this case, Trova, we use uh, a piece of a plant leaf. The genes we are incorporating into Jotropha can be almost incorporated into any crops. So for example, the, in citrus, in strawberry, recently we had a problem with the low temperatures in Florida. So this can be also the same cold tolerance genes can be incorporated into citrus, into, Florida, into strawberry, into soybean. In Ohio had a severe drought. Uh, just about two, three years ago. So the same gene functions for cold, drought, and salinity.